According to the king of everything, the angels will have holidays. These will be of one year counting from today. They can be in any of the 12 universes without bothering others. Zeno wishes you a beautiful holiday. You can retire right now. This is perfect. Where will I go? I don't want to stay in universe 6. I'd better go to another universe. I can go to universe 7 since it is the twin of my universe. Besides, Whis is there and he has a lot of fun with Beerus. He's not boring like Champa. Universe 7, Planet Earth. I feel so bored, and it's not even the end of the day. Where is Vegeta? The day is ending, and I haven't taken a holiday in a long time. The tournament is over, and I started working. I deserve to rest, too. I hope I won't be bothered by anyone. I just want to relax in the countryside. That beautiful blue planet is Earth. So blue and bright. I hope no one comes to bother me. Champa will never meet me here. Besides, I have my father's permission. I will go to breathe the fresh air of these meadows. It would be good for me to share the customs of humans and do things like them. Although, there is no one more powerful than me in this universe. Where is there a place to rest? Huh? I feel a very powerful energy. And it's not a Saiyan. Who could it be? That energy is incredible! Damn insect! So you're on holiday! Let's see if you're paying attention! Huh? Get this! What a beauty! What tranquility! Uh, ah! Vegeta! You were supposed to be training in space! Huh? But if you're the master of the god Champa, aren't you supposed to be from Universe 6? You're Whis's sister! How strange is this? Our father Daishin King gave us a holiday, and I came here to rest and enjoy nature. And you keep fighting like always! Don't you ever get tired? You ruined my beautiful day! I should beat you up so you can learn! Now that I remember that you're more powerful than your brother Whis, if you stay longer on Earth, could you train me? And what would I get out of training a guy like you? Wasting my time! I'd rather go on holiday and forget about guys like you! You're ill-mannered! Didn't your parents teach you to respect others? I came to rest on this planet, and no one is going to stop me. Do you understand me, Goku? You are stronger than a god, and I heard that you were more powerful than your brother Whis. Why don't you show me some of that great power? So you won't leave me alone, since you only care about the power of others. I will show you something better. You don't deserve to be beaten with 10% of my strength. Hmm, this will teach you not to bother people, and to know that not everything in life is about fighting like a fool. I hope I never see you again on this day. All this has made me remember something. And the truth is that I have no money to buy something. And I left my bacula at home. Now what will I do? Oh, that was amazing. Vados is very strong. This encourages me to train more. If I can make her my teacher, she can teach me better techniques. Although, women are very difficult to understand. <laughs> I just have to find a way. I'm a Saiyan, and it's my nature to be stronger. Eh, maybe I'll come up with an idea later. I am starving for leaving my universe so fast. I didn't plan this trip well. Those cakes look so delicious. Now how am I going to get money? If I use my powers, no one will notice. But that's not the way an angel acts. Damn it, what can I do? All I can do is borrow from someone who passes by. Hmm, I know this woman. You're an angel, aren't you? What a surprise. What are you doing here? I'm on holiday and I don't have any money to buy food. I was wondering if you could lend me some money. I'd appreciate it. That's no problem. Come to my house. Goku will be happy to see you. Well, if you insist, I hope you don't find out that I sent your husband to fly. Later at Goku's house. Thank you very much, Mrs. Chi Chi. You're great. My son Goten and my husband Goku always like my food. Although, Goku prefers to train all day rather than work. I'm used to everything he does. That's why I'm like this. I'm a very responsible and calculated woman. In spite of all that, you are a woman who cooks very well. I wish I could cook like you. Oh, what a nice surprise. An angel who's more powerful than a god. Oh, I forgot to ask. 
Hey, Vados, I know you already showed me how powerful you are, but... Invite Miss Vados into the house and stop talking about training. She told me she's staying a few days on Earth, so we have to help her. And you, Goku, will help her with whatever she needs. Since she's out of money, she's going to pay us 100 million zennies. I just remembered something, so I'll need another help. And I might need your services as a fighter these days. It's a little difficult, but I'll explain it to you in a few minutes. Since my other brothers are in the same situation, and this year, I want to be a winner in everything. Oh, okay. Sounds interesting. I'll do anything to help. And if it helps me train, I want to become stronger. Maybe this year I can win the annual event organized by my brothers, the Angels. You fought very well in the Tournament of Power, but this event is different. I'm looking for a warrior for the Tournament of Angels. It will be in a few weeks. In our holidays, the Angels do a tournament, and we recruit a warrior from any universe. Lady White, the angel in charge of Universe 13, is the one who organizes everything. Before coming to this planet, she told all the Angels that everyone is almost ready. Lady White is the most respected angel for being the eldest, and we all follow her orders. I would not be surprised that at this time my brothers are around here recruiting someone. It sounds interesting, your proposal, but I fight as the main warrior, not as someone else's substitute. You have Jiren for this event. I will think about how to participate, so don't worry about me. I knew you'd put conditions to be my participant. I don't distrust Jiren. I know he will win, but it's always good to be prepared. That's why I thought of the Prince of the Saiyan, the Great Vegeta. Huh, I'll take revenge on Jiren soon. Our tournament battle is still pending. I'll still see him again, even if I have to go to Universe 11 to look for him. All the Angel events have been won by Universes 1, 5, 8, and 12. I want to win for once. You always say that I'm the most conceited of my brothers, but it's because I work hard. I would like you to train with me these weeks. If you participate for another universe and manage to win, I will feel proud that thanks to my training, you managed to win the Angel event. I'll think about it. Just give me a few days. My desire is always to win, because I am the Prince of the Saiyans, and a Saiyan never refuses a challenge or leaves the battlefield. As I told you, any fighter is allowed in this angelic tournament of every decade. And there are two subjects that are very powerful ones that you'll have to face. Their names are Goku and Vegeta. The prize of this tournament will be to use the Super Dragon Balls for whatever you want. There will even be a small tournament of the Gods of Destruction. Tell me, what you think of my proposal? Everything is allowed in the Angels' Holidays. I trust you can do well. This is my chance to get the whole thing. Of course I will participate in this event for you. I hope you don't regret wanting to use me as your warrior for that angel event. You know I want to destroy Xeno and the Kaioshins, and if possible, all the deities of the universe. I know your intentions, but we angels are neutral in these things. We will serve a master who manages to be very powerful. That's why if you manage to win this tournament, you can make the wish that suits you. Well, even if your wish is to defeat the king of everything, it's allowed. But that is something very difficult to do. Okay, I accept. And then I will see how to destroy Xeno once and for all. Two weeks later. Before we go, show me the Ultra Base Instinct. I want to know if in these two weeks you have become stronger. Attack me if you can. Excuse me, Miss Vados. I don't know how this happened to you, but something made you trip. Oh, now I get it. My son's ball tripped her. All right, but stand up. We have to go to the angelic tournament. After one hour. I'm ready to go. This outfit is for the event. Even my bacula was smaller. Remember that my other brothers will be there, the Angels. I chose you because you have a lot of potential, and I want you to win in this tournament that takes place every thousand years. I want to win. 
With these ships of the angels, we can go to the hidden universe very fast. What do you think, Goku? The universe is huge! I didn't know that there were still more than 12 universes! All of this excites me a lot! I'll do my best! The Diamond Coral Planet! Only one planet for the 18 angels! Everyone must be anxious to start the event! The Eternal Glory Stadium, where you will fight with the others! After 20 minutes! Margarita! Everyone is already here! Cus, Sour, and the others! Where are they? They are already in the stadium with their fighters! We arrived last, that's why Lady White said to wait. Then, let's enjoy this vacation of ours! I'm sure I'll win! It's weird! I can feel Vegeta's key right here! Vegeta? You're here? Don't tell me you've been chosen too! Which angel are you going to represent? Ah, oh, this should be fun! Huh, that's none of your business! I just came to show how strong the Prince of the Saiyans got to these useless fools! But, that's not necessary! You said you'd stop at being stronger than Beerus! You thought wrong then! I'll never stop being the best! Then you're already stronger than Beerus, aren't you? Beerus is a piece of excrement next to me! You got it! Hello! Welcome, Brother Angels and Fighters! My name is Lady White, Angel of the 13th Universe, and eldest sister of all angels. The winner will get 7 Super Dragon Balls, or you can impersonate a destroyer card. Now, I will mention the names of the participants and the representative. Angel Ivan, Fighter Taruna. Angel Sour, Fighter Psycho. Angel Kampari, Fighter Dufa. Angel Cognac, Fighter Seltor. Angel Cocktail, Fighter Shadow. Angel Fagos, Fighter Goku. Angel Whis, Fighter Hurts. Angel Corn, Fighter Amatias. Angel Mojito, Fighter Lydia. Angel Kus, Fighter Rayans. Angel Margarita, Fighter Prince Saiyan Vegeta. Angel Martini, Fighter Fighter. Fighters, form up to begin the decisive battle. May the best of you win. Vegeta, I have my hopes on you. Don't lose. Son Goku, I'm with you body and soul. I trust you. And that's how the Tournament of Angels would begin once and for all. This bow was also facing Hit, who has achieved a great hidden power which is to destroy stars with a single blow. But this bow has managed to acquire a great telekinetic power which can bend this warrior. For his part, our Saiyan, Goku, was facing against Kefla, who had achieved the ability to copy the movements of all the warriors against fight. I only need to have or to receive a blow of them to copy them. This is not no it Goku who would be confident for already to see her defeated previously in the Tournament of Power. But what does not know is that in this tournament only have existed the characters of warriors that have a power similar to that of a god of destruction, or perhaps a power but immense that the one of them, Goku, looks very confident for this, but this woman still does not show his true power. On the other hand, the warrior Dojer, who was an apprentice to the god of destruction from Universe 6, who was not chosen because he was very murderous and ruthless, wanted to face or start the battle against the powerful Riggins, who was from Universe 12, the counterpart of Jiden from Universe 11. But this one was also very powerful and ruthless. Dojer wanted to take down his warrior without knowing him. Here everyone is extremely powerful, so each one must take good care of the powers they will throw. Dojer concentrates the dark energy of the Hakai in his hand to throw it to Riggins, who is waiting for him. Dojer throws his power against Riggins, but Riggins would not pass him absolutely nothing, so Dojer is too surprised, saying, This can't be! How is it possible that my destructive power can't even destroy his clothes? You can hear a tremendous powerful blow, and you can see that Dojer is on the ground. He has fallen defeated, but he is not defeated yet. He is not unconscious. There's no doubt that Riggins has a power beyond that of a god of destruction. No one is my equal, and I will be the one to win the Super Dragon Spheres, and use them for my own benefit. Forgive me, but I must win this event and face the most powerful. <laughs> Goku and Super Saiyan 2 would have made a tremendous blow to Kefla who flew away, but he didn't know what was about to happen. 
Kefla, who is so angry, but knowing of his powers, shouts, COPY! Which makes a tremendous roar throughout the stadium, and you can see how her power rises quite a lot. The most incredible thing of all this is that she achieves an appearance like Goku's Super Saiyan 3. Do not be surprised by my new powers, because the power that I have managed to acquire is to copy the energies or techniques of others while someone hit me, give me a blow, or do what I do to me. I can absorb that power and raise it one more level, is why I'm in this state 3. Goku would realize how powerful the fusion of Khalifla and Kale has become, and that he can copy the techniques without even having trained them. Beyond being of the Saiyan race, it's amazing how she could copy my Super Saiyan 3, and I'm not even converted to that state. She can go one level higher than the power she copies. That's right, Son Goku. Now, get this power. Something you learned from your childhood, the power of Kamehameha, in its fullest splendor. Hearts, who is very confident of his power, could feel the presence and energy of someone very close to him. There is someone hidden inside me, or is it a person who can hide and be invisible? But it doesn't matter, I will try to find out where he is to attack him, and defeat him with a single blow. But incredibly, manages to hit Hertz with tremendous power and sends him flying backwards. It can't be that a hidden character can attack me like this, I can't even feel the direction of his blows. Hertz would be very worried about who would be the warrior that is attacking him. The fight between Dispo and Hit was in its maximum splendor. Hit shows that he has the power in his fists to destroy planets and stars. He takes Dispo flying very high from the stadium. But what he doesn't know is that Dispo returns the same power in the form of a fist to Hit, who would be surprised, but he loves the fight, so he will raise his powers more to be able to destroy or stop his attack. Hit says to himself, I love to fight against more powerful guys, even people who can create or copy my powers. But it's nothing for me. I will destroy that fate fist for the real fist that is in my hands. Hit manages to connect a tremendous fist to the fake punch that Dispo sent from the sky. He manages to stop it. However, the impact would be so powerful that it would create a tremendous explosion that would leave both of them on the ground, not defeated but wounded. Hit would think that the next blow would have to be the definitive one to defeat Dispo. On the other side, you see Vegeta, who is behind Riggins, who is trying to challenge him to fight, but Vegeta knows that this guy is more powerful than even Jiren himself. Jum! So a guy who looks like Jiren, now I'll get my revenge for the power tournament. I see you have enormous power. Margarita, will you let Vegeta fight against that guy? His power is higher than the God of Destruction. Whatever happens, I trust him, and I will trust him until the end. He can't lose, I'm sure of it. The fight between Kefla and Goku would continue, but Goku had managed to withstand and contain the Super Kamehameha that Kefla would have thrown at him. Son Goku, don't be so confident of your power. I have one more surprise for you. Now you will see, and this will end our battle. Goku is too surprised because he knows that she can copy the powers in any way, so he does not know what she will do at any time. For this, Kefla raises its power to the maximum to copy a new technique of Goku and incredibly achieves it. You can feel a huge power. Goku, more than surprised, sees that a new warrior has been born. She is Kefla in the power of Super Saiyan God Phase 1. Goku could not believe what he would be seeing before his eyes. It is useless for you to beat me because if you hit me one more time, I will copy an even more powerful technique that you have hidden. Incredibly, Kefla can copy all the powers with just one hit you'll receive. Son Goku, it's unbelievable that you want to defeat me right now. I can copy your hidden powers and raise them one level higher. Vados would be very surprised to see how Kefla had managed to acquire that ability. The battle of all these warriors was still at its peak. Goku would be happy to have this exciting fight. Kefla was incredible. I will raise my powers to another level. I know you can't copy me here, Kefla. Goku would raise his powers to the Super Saiyan God Phase 2, which surpassed the Super Saiyan God Red by a wide margin. I won't let you defeat me. I'll beat you. Whatever it takes. Here I come. Kefla connected a very powerful super kick to the stomach of Goku, and he could feel it deep inside him. Although, incredibly, Goku knew that this blow was not going to hurt him, so he smiled. Kefla was very confused until the moment he thought that he could do something to Goku. In that, Goku would grab and he would prepare and he would throw a strong blow also back to Kefla, who would go flying. For this, Kefla wonders, Why? 
Why is this happening? But he's made a mistake. He doesn't know what he's done. Goku was very confident within himself. He knew that Kefla could now copy the powers, but he never imagined that she could copy an even higher power. Even though Goku is a genius at fighting, he would have something up his sleeve, and he knew what he was doing at that moment. Vegeta was obsessed with defeating Riggins, that warrior against part of Jiden from Universe 12 who had an unworldly power that had previously defeated a candidate for God of Destruction. Vegeta wanted to beat him by all possible means, although Riggins just stood there watching him. He knew that Vegeta was no match for him, even in the state of Blue God. You're just like Jiden. You underestimate your opponents. That's why he lost. You don't know who the Saiyans are. If you don't want to attack, I'll go for you. Incredibly, Riggins launches a powerful blow. Vegeta manages to stop it, but he feels that the power of this is too much. He's very surprised to know that Riggins has a power almost double that of Jiden. Vegeta was confused. He didn't know what to do. He thought that Riggins would have the power of Jiden, but Riggins is on another level. Vegeta can't believe this. He even feels like his left arm was all over. Vegeta couldn't believe that in one blow, his arm had been destroyed. Damn, monster. You still haven't seen the power of a Saiyan. The power of the Blue God will heal my wounds, and I'll start again. Incredibly, Riggins speaks and says to Vegeta, You're an insect. You're nothing to me. I've only come to this tournament to have fun, but I've also come to dust you all. Defenseless mortals, don't bother me anymore if you don't want me to finish you. Riggins has a power close to us angels. Honestly, Vegeta wouldn't have a chance to beat him, but in the training, he showed me that he has a warrior and immortal courage. He still has hidden power that I'm sure he will use later. I trust in you, Vegeta. I want to see you with different eyes. Those eyes of passion. The fight between Goku and Kefla would continue in its course. Each time, it would be more intense. Goku threw a fast Kamehameha with all his power to Kefla, who caught entertained. Kefla would know that if this fight extended a little more, she would be defeated, although she was also afraid to use the new power that she would have inside her since she would have copied a new technique of Goku. So she decided at that moment and said to Goku, Son Goku, you have been a great fighter, but you have an awesome power, which I have already copied, and I will use it to defeat you right now. I wish I could train with you as you are a strong person, but this is my victory, Son Goku. Kefla returned to his base state, and from his base state began his transformation, which he copied from Goku. Knowing that after the Super Saiyan Blue God followed the Ultra Instinct, incredibly, Kefla could copy the Ultra Instinct superior of Goku in all its brilliance. The power that surrounded her was tremendous. Even all the gods of destruction who were fighting at that moment with the aspirants could feel that great power. I could not imagine that a woman could have such an ability to copy the powers and make them yours. You're incredible. Kefla was at its maximum power. Everyone was trembling. Even the angels were surprised of her again. Kefla, a woman capable of anything. Kefla prepared to launch her super attack towards Goku, a Kamehameha, also, since she had copied that technique of Goku and could do it, she knew that the power of the Ultra Instinct was in other levels, so she launched a super and powerful Kamehameha to Goku to defeat him in one go. Goku, very surprised, could not do anything. Although incredibly, Goku could stop this Kamehameha, it did not affect him too much. To what I said, Kefla was very surprised, saying, But why? Because if I have the maximum power? Because that Kamehameha has not hurt this guy, it has only left him wounded. He should have even killed him, why can't I defeat him? But something unexpected happened that only Son Goku knew was going to happen. Kefla was being tormented by that power, that power that only the angels could access. Kefla felt that a great discharge of energy was crushing her. It was weakening her. She was being punished. And the same thing that happened to Goku when he fought against Jiren and his perfect Ultra Instinct. And that power, as it was one of the gods, was too much for him since the power punished him. The same thing happened to Kefla, who fell to the ground, very tired, very sore. Since this power was immense, and she had to use it for the first time, and she did not have enough power to control it. That is why her Kamehameha was not so powerful and Goku could stop it without any problem. This was the strategy that Goku had, his ace up his sleeve. 
He knew that if Kefla copied that power, she would be defeated. Everyone applauded Kefla since she knew that she could not continue. She herself knew it. She only stood up saying, You are a great warrior, son Goku. Kefla would say her words and then she would leave the arena because she knew she could not fight anymore. She was exhausted, tired. She should have thought about it before using that power. She knew that if she had practiced it a long time ago, she would have defeated Goku. Kefla was a great warrior. Mojito, her angel who brought her, was very proud of her, very happy. And Goku also, for having had this excellent fight against an enemy that he knew that at some point would be much more powerful than him. Vegeta was having problems with Regan since he could not even touch him and was being defeated and humiliated by this powerful warrior of the 12th universe. But for that, appeared Amadeus, who upon feeling the great power of Regan's, wanted to challenge him and told Vegeta to step aside in a moment that this one was going to throw him the most powerful blow he had. The powerful Amadeus, that this blow was beyond his limits, and that perhaps no one could stop it because there was no warrior that could stop his great fist, the most powerful of all the universes. Regan's only stayed waiting and looking at Amadeus, as if saying inside himself, this useless one doesn't know what is waiting for him. Amadeus, with a great power, a tremendous speed would throw that fist, which exceeded the limits of all the universes. The fist hit Regan's in the face, but he didn't do anything, he only moved a little. Incredibly, Regan's only with his eyes destroyed the whole wardrobe of Amadeus, taking him flying and defeating him. This would be the second warrior defeated by Regan's. Regan's, who had the highest power of all the universes so far, did not stop surprising everyone. The Great Fist did nothing to him, which exceeded the limits of all the universes. Vados, who was sitting quietly and drinking a delicious drink she had, asked herself sincerely, Will my Goku be able to defeat this great warrior? Vados said, since everyone had realized that Regan's was the most powerful warrior in the tournament. But Goku felt very excited to fight against this great warrior, since Goku had trained with Vados and knew that he also had a new hidden power that could be useful to him, power which could be of great use to him. Vados inside himself said, Goku, please win. I want to enjoy this prize with you. I know how I will thank you. For this, a sad girl was sitting on the side. It was Kefla, who couldn't believe she had lost. She was a little sad sitting down, but she would say so herself. I will train this great power, and one day I will be able to defeat Goku in another battle. These would be the words of Kefla. This, she had it well in mind, because it is what Kale would do as soon as he returns to his universe. On the other hand, Goku and Vegeta were sleeping peacefully, but what if they were in the middle of a fight, for this Goku would wake up. But what happened to the tournament? I still feel sore from the blows. This looks like a rest hut. I've lost the event, and Vegeta too? I can feel the presence of Vados nearby. Goku did not know what was going on since he was in the middle of a fight, but he woke up in a resting hut. But he could feel the presence of Vados nearby, so Goku decided to go ask him go to the place where he was, which was very close to there, so he could explain to him what had happened in the tournament and why he was still on the planet. Miss Vados, this Saiyan wants to know what happened with the tournament. I slept very well, but who won the angelic tournament? I want to know. For that, the beautiful Vados was with her sister Margarita taking a good bath in the angelic rivers of that planet, so they did not think that Goku could find them. But what are you asking? You shouldn't be here. I'll explain quickly what happened and you'll leave. Listen well, the angelic tournament has two phases and has a time limit. You continued fighting, but Regens was very strong. Vegeta was about to be defeated, but you intervened. But Regens was also beating you. You were almost defeated too. You had no escape. But luckily for you, the time of the first part of the tournament ended. And as you were left on the ground, you were taken to rest for the second part of the tournament. Did you understand? said Margarita, who took the trouble to explain the events to our Saiyan. It's incredible, that Jiren-like guy is very powerful, but we still have the second part to finish the tournament. I'll do my best in this part that is left. You know it now. Dress well for the night and come and find me here. Knowing all this, Goku left the place to tell Vegeta what had happened, but Margarita stayed to talk to her sister Vados about the event that had happened that night. 
Well, well, Vados. Why don't you tell us how you managed to bring Son Goku without his jealous wife? It was difficult, but I had to change the story completely. She took good care of me at the beginning, but I could feel inside Son Goku a huge sorrow. So I traveled back in time. Year 754 Forgive me! Destroy yourself! Ah! That's the payoff for winning or losing the tournament for Son Goku. On the other hand, is that serious? He saved us time. That's an outrageous thing to say. I thought the same thing. I'm going to train with Margarita even though we have to talk to the assigned angels tonight. Nonsense. Already at dusk. Oh, are you really Goku? You've changed a lot. Vegeta told me that the angels and their fighters will have dinner together today. I worked as a security guard just one night ago and I don't know how to dress for a goddess like you. As an angel, you have more power than a god, but I want to know why you are sad. Goku could feel that Vados had a great sadness inside him, and he wanted to know why it was. I have been a master of gods of destruction for thousands of years and there is no rest. That's why I went to Earth to rest, and I couldn't do it thanks to you. I hate to be so powerful and be a servant of a weakling forever. I am jealous of the life of human women who are happy. Goku was very surprised that the angel Vados, who was so powerful, was so sad and crying, and that she felt jealous that the women of Earth were happy next to their husbands. For the first time, Goku felt something inside him when he saw the powerful woman crying inconsolably. Don't cry, Vados-sama. I was always foolish to show my affection to another person. Beerus and Vegeta say that I am very clumsy, but I always wanted something. I always wanted to have a woman more powerful than me by my side. But you're a human, and I'm an angel, and you're married on top of everything else. I am a human, but I promise to be the most powerful in the universe. If an angel gives her love to a human, this human can never leave her and will be immortal. Are you sure you want it? I got married out of obligation many years ago because I didn't know what marriage was. I don't care about immortality. I just want to see you happy by my side. Are you serious, Son Goku? The next day, Goku and Vados were having a great time together because they were very much in love and enjoyed the days they had of the angelic tournament. Goku knew that he had found a perfect woman, and that with her he would have all the food he wanted, as well as a much stronger training. Vegeta realized the situation in which Goku and Vados were in, wondering, why is this happening? If Kakarot has his wife, Chi Chi, on planet Earth? But Margarita appeared and explained to him that Chi Chi had been exterminated by Vados, and she had erased all the memories of her, as well as explained to him who Regans was, and what the tremendous size of his power. Likewise, Margarita and Vegeta found Goku and Vados and told them the plan he had for the day the Angelic Tournament would continue, which would be that the two of them would merge to fight against Regans and thus bring the powerful Gogeta. It was about to start the last day of the Angelic Tournament. Regans, Gogeta, Hearts, and Taruna, the last four participants that were left in this tournament. So the day would come, continuing the Angelic Tournament. Regans and Gogeta were staring at each other, waiting for one to attack the other, being Gogeta who would throw a super blow to Regans, who would stop it with only one hand, saying, That's all your power? Gogeta in the blink of an eye would perform a superpower, sending Regans flying, saying, And what's that? Gogeta would say, leaving the entire audience surprised, Ah! Regans! Together they are very strong, aren't they, Vados? They are great warriors, and my Goku trained him very well. This is just the beginning, so show us your great power! Gogeta was proving to be very powerful, but Regans was also very powerful, and this was one who was in the air, was looking at the possibility of launching a great power towards the stadium knowing that it would destroy it completely. On the other side, Hearts and Taruna. Who are you? I don't have time for trash, ha ha ha! My name is Taruna. Everyone here is more powerful than a god of destruction, and I didn't come here to waste my time like you, so get ready. 
A god of destruction is a mere servant of others. Helpless mortal, tell me what you can do against me. Solar Blast! Incredibly, Daruna attacks with a super special power in front of a very surprised Hearts, who doesn't know how to defend himself from this attack, and he attacks Hearts. Regans was in the air waiting for the exact moment to launch his great power, which he couldn't wait any longer. It's a great power. Are you going to destroy everything? I must stop him no matter what, whatever it takes. would launch himself at Goku, but Goku would transform into his Super Saiyan God Phase 2 state, kicking him but not causing any damage to Drax. What? Goku shouted and then received a punch in the stomach, spitting blood and falling to his knees. Drax would put his foot on the Saiyan's head. This one was about to cut Goku, but the Saiyan would dodge it, backing away to hurt. Ugh, this guy is going to kill me. I can't read his moves. Goku wouldn't even finish speaking as Drax would punch him in the face, sending him against the ground, drawing a lot of blood. Drax says with a devilish grin, Fine, I'll start with the eye. Goku would try to move, but he would no longer have the strength. Wait! Goku shouts. Drax, after tasting Goku's eye with his hand, was about to cut it in half, when in a few milliseconds, he would receive millions of blows, sending him crashing against some rocks. Drax, a little sore, gets up and sees Goku's Ultra Instinct. This, this is incredible! Drax shouted, throwing himself against the Saiyan, and both began to exchange blows, shaking the whole room. They would fight for several days, but Goku was no match for Drax. And being defeated several times, the Saiyan had no choice but to escape. It should be clarified that one year in the room where Goku was would be one minute in the original dimension, the dimension where Goku had been observed at the time of touching the statue before. Fifteen years would pass, and all this time, Goku, while escaping, trained and tried to find a method to defeat Drax, but the level he was at was much higher. Damn! I don't know what to do anymore! I'm tired, and I can't defeat him! Said Goku, very sad and with a lot of anger while hitting the ground. I want, I want to, to get, get out, out of this, this damn, damn room! room! Goku had passed to the perfect egotistic doctrine. An incredible power overflowed from the Saiyan's body, so he would quickly appear in front of Drax. Both would stare at each other, starting a fight. Exchanging millions of blows and energy blasts at an extraordinary speed, this still would not be enough. Being defeated again, Goku on the floor with tears would say, I can't anymore. I surrender. Goku would close his eyes, while Drax on the other hand with a big smile would cut his arm, making him scream in pain. Drax would have eaten Goku's arm to then murder Goku. However, in Goku's mind, the Saiyan would start to remember all those moments he lived with his family and friends, and that however, he had to see them once again and accomplish his mission. So he would get up with the little strength he had, and Drax was very shocked. Miserable! When are you going to die? Drax was already furious and began to throw punches all over Goku's body, starting to torture him. Meanwhile, outside the dimension where Goku was, Vegeta was in a fight with an unknown entity. Both were very tired. When are you going to surrender, you insignificant mortal? Shouted the entity. Vegeta smiling says, It's time to finish you! 
The Prince of the Saiyans closes his eyes, breathing deeply, and in the blink of an eye, he passes to the Ultra Ego, leaving the entity shocked with the power he possessed. But how is it possible for a mortal to have all that power? How surprising! You are not an ordinary mortal! Vegeta, in an instant, moved behind the entity to give him a powerful blow in the neck, about to leave him unconscious. Suddenly, he received a blow in the face and fell back. I will finish you! Said the entity, very distressed. What nonsense are you talking about? That punch didn't even hurt me! What? If only I had all my power, this wouldn't be happening! But apparently that damn Drax took all my power with him! I knew you had something to do with Kakarot's disappearance! Tell me everything you know! Vegeta said seriously, and then did a technique, leaving him kneeling. So, you are not alone. You are with someone else. Surely my older brother Drax already exterminated him in his dimension! <laughs> said the entity, trying to get up, but Vegeta, with a blast of energy, would exterminate him, pulverizing him to the totality. Meanwhile, in another place, would have spent more than 30 years in the room where Goku was. He was screaming in pain as he continued to resist the blows and attacks of King Drax. Would not give up for anything in the world. As time went by, Goku was matching the power of King Drax. This would leave something astonished and worried Drax. Goku seriously says, I don't know how long I'll be closed here, but I won't give up. Come on, Drax! Is that all you got? You're a king of everything! I thought you'd have more power! These words would make Drax furious. He couldn't kill Goku because he was very resistant, and every time that more time passed, he was getting even stronger. You're a bastard! How do you do it? Shout Drax, overwhelmingly raising his power, creating a gigantic ball of energy with the power to destroy an entire multiverse. Goku smiles, tired. <laughs> wow, that's new. I guess this will be the end of me. <laughs> Drax would launch his most powerful super attack, and Goku would quickly transform into the perfect Ultra Instinct, so that it would go into Drax's attack. But what are you trying to do? Drax said in shock. Goku would have absorbed the attack of this one, remaining with wide eyes and falling to the edge of death to the ground. Drax quickly gets on top of this one, pulling out a sword to pierce the Saiyan's heart. However, Goku would crawl totally covered in blood towards a statue. This one would unknowingly touch the other statue's hand, and Drax would scream. Damn! What do you think you do? Everything began to glow. Ahead of the Saiyan would come out a girl with an extraordinary power, but with an evil energy, appearing the queen of all darkness called Liza. Drax, you're still alive? Said the queen Liza. Drax answered angrily. Give me that Saiyan and I'll leave. I don't want to have to kill you. Liza looks at Goku totally covered in blood, so she says, This mortal must have unique blood, right? Then I'll eat him. Drax would attack Liza, but she hits him with a technique that would send him to another dimension. Liza would turn to eat Goku, but the Saiyan, with a smile on the ground near the verge of death, would say, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for saving me. This would stop Liza. Wait, what's happening to me? What is this? Liza wondered to herself, which on second thought would lift Goku up. Goku smiling. I thought you were someone bad because of your energy, but I see that you're someone good inside, and also very cute. This would leave Liza surprised because she couldn't believe that Goku called her cute. With a smile, she would blush. Liza says to herself, uh, What's wrong with me? Goku, after so many years, would wonder, saying to Liza, Hey, what kind of room is this? And why am I never hungry here? And besides, as far as I can see, I still look the same. To which Liza, with a slight smile, answers him.
This is the room of the King of Destiny. No one goes hungry here. And no matter how many millions of years go by, you will never get old. Although, the truth is that I'm still very shocked. What? Why? I still don't understand how a mortal like you could endure a fight for a few seconds with the most powerful king of all. Oh, what are you saying? Said Goku exalted. Liza exclaims. Drax is the most powerful and evil being of all, the kings of all. I was his companion thousands of years ago. Goku replies. I see. And by the way, I wasn't locked up for seconds with Drax. I was fighting for many years here. I don't even know how long it's been. This would leave the queen most impressed of all. Goku would get up hurt and seriously say, That guy is now free and can destroy the multiverse if he wants to. We have to stop him no matter what. Goku with a smile would say, Ah, and by the way, my name is Goku. What's your name? Liza with a smile approaches Goku and gives him a hug. The Saiyan is surprised. Uh, but what are you doing? Liza would say, I see that you have suffered a lot, and you are still standing. You are someone very interesting. My name is Liza, and from now on, don't worry. I will help you as much as I can, Goku. Those words would make the Saiyan bring tears out of nowhere. Huh? But why? Goku was asking himself, and he was still shedding tears. But because he had suffered for a long time, and finally after so long, there was someone to help him. Meanwhile, in the palace of the King of Everything, where Daishinken was watching Goku and Vegeta, suddenly the whole sky would become dark. Daishinken watching would see a portal opening, and from that same portal would come out nothing more and nothing less than the King of Everything, Drax. Daishinken to see him would begin to feel a chill. It can't be. Is he the King of all Drax? Drax in the sky would raise his power, falling lightning around him while saying, It's time for my revenge, you damned kings of everything! Daishinken would try to do a technique, but Drax was already traveling through the universe of Goku's multiverse, eating completely each of the 12 universes, leaving Daishinken paralyzed, who would be watching what happened. Without thinking, he would bring Vegeta and Goku back to the multiverse where they belong, but to Daishinken's surprise, only Vegeta would return. What? Where is the king of everything Goku? said a very worried Daishinken when he realized that Goku did not return with Vegeta. What is this presence I can feel in this multiverse? Vegeta would say nervously, and then Drax would appear in front of Vegeta in the blink of an eye, cutting him, sending him against some pillars. Daishinken would quickly attack Drax, but this one, with just his look, would send him to the ground. Drax would taste Vegeta's blood, saying, I've got your blood. Your blood looks very similar to someone. Do you know Goku? Vegeta stands up in surprise. But who the hell are you? And how do you know Kakarot? Drax did a technique making Goku's arm appear covered in blood. Vegeta paralyzed. Kakarot? D damn You made him? Vegeta would shout, going into his Ultra Ego phase. Vegeta's Ultra Ego would launch himself against Drax, but the evil king would charge thousands of blades, throwing them against Vegeta, who would dodge them all. However, Drax was in front of him, nailing his arm in his chest, making him spit blood and falling detransformed on the ground. Drax, looking to the side, would observe Daishinken, who was planning to launch a super attack. So Drax would disappear when he realized it. Ah, very good, Daishinken! Looks like it's gone! Ah, uh, damn it! How could I have been so confident? I should have used my power from the beginning! Daishinken would approach Vegeta and heal him. Vegeta would ask, What was that? Who was that guy supposed to be? Immediately, Daishinken would tell him that Drax is the first king of the whole of all multiverses, and therefore is the most powerful. He was not like everyone. His thirst for hunger makes him want to eat everyone and destroy everything. He was locked in a statue by a powerful seal of all the kings of all the multiverses millions of light years ago. Vegeta asks, Kakarot shouldn't have touched the statue, but how are we supposed to get rid of that bastard? 
The only way to defeat that being is for the six kings of everything to get together and seal it. But now it's impossible. There must be a way. Meanwhile, on the other side, Drax was sailing through all of the universes and multiverses, eating gods, angels, increasing his power little by little, destroying planets, galaxies, and universes, to the point of killing three kings of everything. His power was near unlimited. On one side was Goku and Liza, who were still in the room. Good! It's time to get out of here! Starting to raise his power, but Liza says, Wait! 